Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the modern nesting baskets. Now, this is the first part of our series. This is a three-part video series. So each video, we're going to learn how to do a different size. This video, we're going to focus on the smaller one, the center basket. Uh, this basket across the top measures about four inches and is about two and a half inches tall. Okay, and then stay tuned because we're also going to be crocheting this medium sized basket and the largest basket. For this project, you'll need a nine millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. The yarn I'll be using is called Strata by Red Heart. This is uh, kind of a new yarn on the market. And I have here the navy, the gray, and the coral. Uh, I just want to point out too that um, the nesting baskets are part of a set. So this is the yarn I use for the entire set. Um, but there are three videos. There's a small, medium, and large. So, um, th but this is the total yarn for the entire uh, set of them. Okay, so once again, we're going to be making the smallest basket of our nesting ba basket set. So I'm going to start with this coral yarn, and each one of our baskets is going to be two tones. So I'm going to start with uh, my first color and I'll show you how to switch colors later on. Um, if you want to make the medium size or the large size there is a medium video and a large video also. Um, and I'll show you how to switch colors but you can make yours in solid all, you know all one color or stripes or what have you just whatever you know you have on hand. So to begin what we're going to do is put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop. Reach in with your hook. Bring up the loop and tighten. So what we're going to do is create the ring to make our stitches, work our stitches into. So we're going to start with a chain four. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. Insert the hook to uh, join, to make the ring in the chain farthest from the hook. We're going to be creating a slip stitch. So insert the hook, bring up the loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And now we have our ring. You can kind of open that up if you need to, to be able to see where you're going to be working into. And also this tail here, we're going to hold that along the edge as we work, and that will incorporate that tail and save you a step at the end. Okay, so let's work on round one. For round one, what we're going to do is chain two. One, two. Now this is going to count as our first stitch. Then we're going to work five half double crochets into the center of the ring. Now I have a separate video on this if you're unfamiliar with this stitch, if you need to practice a little bit before you start. Um, but all you need to do is wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring, and bring up a loop. Now wrap yarn around hook and bring it through all three loops on your hook. That's the half double crochet stitch. Okay, so we need five. We just did one. So let's do two. three, four, and five. So our chain two at the beginning actually counted as one of our half double crochets. So we actually will have six spokes on our wheel, if you will. Okay, so count two chains up. We're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round. So count two chains up, insert the hook into the chain, bring up a loop and bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And then what you can do, you can go ahead and tighten, pull this tail to tighten and that will help close the center a little bit as well. Now if you want to do the magic ring as opposed to the way I just did it, um, I also have a video on the magic ring if you're unfamiliar with that as well. Some people prefer that to start a project in the round. Okay? All right, so let's move on to round two. For round two, what we're going to do is go ahead and chain two, one and two. And then in this first stitch here, we're going to work a half double crochet. So right in that first stitch, just like that, okay? Now in each stitch all the way around, we're going to work two half double crochets, okay? So two half double crochets in each stitch. So this first stitch. We're going to work two half double crochets all in the same stitch, okay? And then we're just going to go around our circle, working two half double crochets in each stitch. 
The reason we only did one at the beginning is because that chain two counted as one of them. Okay, so we're just working two half double crochets in each stitch. I have my yarns kind of creeping over here. Okay, so moving right around our circle. And because we're using a chunky yarn and a larger hook, we're gonna, this is a pretty fast project to work up. Okay, this is our last stitch. Okay, now we're where we started. So just um, count two chains up, one, two, and then insert your hook into that, that chain at the top there and bring up a loop and then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So we just joined with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So let's move on to round three. Okay, so for round three, we're gonna chain two once again, and then we're going to work a half double crochet into the first stitch, and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. So one and two, and then we're gonna repeat that sequence. So one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. We're just gonna do that all the way around. One half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and two half double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and two half double crochet in the next stitch. We're just doing this all the way around. So one half double crochet, go to the next stitch, and two half double crochet. Just like that. Okay, so we're nearing the end. We're at the last stitch, so we work one half double crochet into that stitch. Okay, so here's our starting chain from the beginning of our round. Just insert into that second chain up. Same thing we did before. Bring up a loop. We're closing it with a slip stitch. And then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, so our circle is growing, and it's looking very pretty. And has a lot of fun texture. Okay. So let's do round four. Round four is the last round of our base. So it'll, it'll look like this, and then we're gonna start building upwards, okay? So go ahead and chain two, one, two. So then what we're gonna do is work a single crochet, I'm sorry, a half double crochet. So here, this our first stitch. So we're gonna work a half double crochet in the first stitch a half double crochet into the stitch after that. And then in the stitch after that, we'll work two half double crochets, all in the same stitch, okay? So one in, in the next stitch, one half double crochet. Next stitch, one half double crochet. Stitch after that, two half double crochet, okay? So one and two, okay? And then let's get a little bit more yarn Okay, so we just did two. So we need to work one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, let's do that again. One half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, we're just repeating that sequence all the way around. So one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, let's repeat that again. One half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, we're almost around our circle here, getting close. Okay, 
We're working our half double crochets. And then we're at the end. We're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay? So here is our circle. Now the base of our small basket is complete. So it's going to, once again, it's going to sit like that. Now, and it's laying nice and flat, which is good. We want it to do that. Okay, so, and you might need to kind of, sometimes when you're working your stitches, things can kind of fold over and jumble around. So you might need to just kind of straighten it out a little bit. Okay, but it does lay nice and flat. So go ahead and pull that tail here. You can go ahead and cut that now so it's not in your way. Okay, so next we're going to begin building the sides of our little basket. Okay, so, um, for round five and then we'll be repeating round five to build up the sides okay okay so what we're going to do for round five is to chain two once again and then for the remainder of our project we're just going to be working a half double crochet in each stitch okay so no more counting no more increasing or anything like that okay so here's our first stitch we're going to work a half double crochet in that first stitch half double crochet in the next stitch and so forth. Okay, I'm just working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and as you can see, we're kind of getting our sides already. So you can see that side getting built up. Okay, we're just going to go all the way around. And the neat thing about this is you can make your, your little baskets shallow, so you can kind of see everything in there. Or if you have something tall, you'll be storing in there, like some crochet hooks or some pens or something like that. You can make your top sides a little bit taller to accommodate some of these taller items. But if you have things like buttons or stitch markers, a nice shallow uh, container is very nice to have. Okay, so we're just working our half double crochets all the way around. We're almost to the end here. Okay, and here we are, count two chains up. This is our starting chain. Bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So let's see what we have. We have our flat bottom, and we're starting to get the little sides of our basket. We're gonna work a couple more rounds in this coral, and then we're gonna switch to the gray, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and work another round doing the same exact thing, chain two and just working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around our basket, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and work another round of this and then we'll rejoin in just a moment and we're gonna learn how to switch colors next. So our basket will, will look really modern and two-toned, okay? Okay, I'm just coming up to the end of the round and I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to close. So I think what we'll do is, we can see our basket is growing in height here. It looks very cute. So let's go ahead and switch to our second color. And we're gonna work two rounds of that color to get a little bit more height. So go ahead and cut the yarn. Now I like to cut the yarn and tie the new yarn right on. But um, if you'd like to, if you have a way of joining yarn that you prefer, definitely feel free to do that. There's lots of different ways to join yarn, okay? So I'm just gonna fasten off my color and then I'm going to switch to this gray, and um, actually let's do this blue, this navy. Um, I'm going to switch to this color, and then we'll get started on our next rounds, okay? Okay, so the last two rounds of our basket are going to be worked in a different color. I chose the blue, or the navy as it's called. So what we're going to do is insert your hook into that last stitch there that you worked, and then grab your navy yarn and just bring it through and then just tie it on. There are lots of ways to join yarn. This is the way I like to do it. 
So if you have a preferred way, definitely feel free to do that. Okay, now these tails here, you can hold them along the edges you work or you can kind of let them drop back and weave them in later. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, this is round seven. So round seven and eight are the second color. Okay, so insert the hook back into that stitch, bring up a loop and chain two. One, two. Next, we're just gonna work the round the same exact way we've been doing it the whole time. So just work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around your basket. Okay, so we're just gonna go all the way around, just get a little bit more yarn there. Just like that. So I'm going to keep going with round seven and then when we get to the end I'm going to show you how to finish off this round and how to do the very last round of our basket. And you can see we're already getting that really pretty color block effect. Okay so I'm just finishing up round seven. And then we're just going to join, just do the same thing, count two chains up, join with a slip stitch. Okay, so our final round, round eight of our basket. I just want to show you so far how it's looking. Looks very cute. And even the smaller size is pretty roomy, so that'll be a nice little asset to your storage. Okay, so what we want to do is, once again, chain two and work, we're just repeating the same rounds. So we're just gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around to finish up our container. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going and we're gonna rejoin and I'm gonna show you how to get all these ends woven in. And then definitely be sure to check out the next uh, video in our series where we will be making the medium container, okay? So I will rejoin in just a moment and we'll finish up this container, okay? Okay, so one more stitch and then round, let me just get that little end in. Then round eight is complete and that is our final round. So join with a slip stitch to close the same way we've been doing for previous rounds just like that, okay? And you can grab your scissors and trim. And we're gonna straighten this little um, basket out as well, okay? So just go ahead and fasten that off. And then grab your tapestry needle. And then whenever you have projects that have multiple colors, such as this one, you'll wanna keep this navy tail in the navy area. So go on the inside here, and then just go in one direction now this yarn, you have to um, be careful that you go uh, up under the entire strand like that and not through it because it'll be difficult to pass your tapestry needle through. But just um, try and do the best you can because if you go through it, it the, the eye of your tapestry needle will split the yarn and it won't go through. Okay, and then you can just trim. Whoops, and your little... Um, basket is done. So this is the smallest size. So we're going to move on and work our larger containers. Okay. So that is how you crochet the smallest uh, container of your nesting baskets. So definitely uh, stay tuned and hop to the medium nesting basket video next if you're after a full set. Now you can just have a whole bunch of these if you like. You can make um, you know, just one size. But if you wanna make the set, um, definitely check out the, the medium video and the large video as well. So thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.